Hi students, Professor Laney here. I wanted to take a minute to share with you some tips and tricks on how to be successful in this class. I, am, I put together a little PowerPoint that's called How to Be Successful in Professor Laney's Online Classes. I do realize that every professor is a little bit different, and so I wanted to make sure that you guys had supports on how to navigate this class, right? Everyone's a little bit different, and it's hard to kind of figure out, but I figured a little bit more help is better than not enough, right? So again, just some top 10 tricks to keep in mind as you go forward in this class, and some of these can work for other classes. Um, again, my philosophy is if you're gonna do something, do it right. And um, I'm really hoping that you guys are gonna get there as well. And when I say right, it doesn't have to be my way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good, right? And so again, as, as we develop as adults and college students, things get better over time, which is great. So I know this is an intro class. I know this is the first class for a lot of people. And so I am flexible, but at the same time, I do expect you guys to show up, number one, show up. And I don't just mean to the lectures and the online lectures and the forums, but also for office hours and even for yourself. Show up for yourself. If you're gonna do this, do it, right? You don't have to have an A to be a good student, right? And some people, you know, life is really, really hectic and busy and I get that. Um, and you're shooting for a C because that's great. That works too. Because if you grasp the concepts and you have an average grade, that's okay. We are all green and growing. And sometimes this is not an optimal environment, but just show up, be present, right? Number two, get your book. Um, for um, our intro class for 107, it's this book. I have all the information in the prep module and in the support module and in the syllabus. Um, but you do not have to have a hard copy. But again, start with the bookstore and they have different um, comparison shopping in there. Um, I like the hard copy because I can tab it out by units, I'm, I color code it, I do that whole business. But for some people, electronic is great. For some people, a loose leaf version, you pop it in a binder, that's great too. Um, but again, make sure that your ISBN numbers match up and you're getting the right edition. I believe this one is the 11th edition, right? Um, older editions are a little bit different, so just be aware. Um, also contact the library. Their hours are a little bit uh, different right now, but contact the library and they do have it on reserve and they are allowing students to go access things on reserve. Cool, number three, get to know your classmates. Now I know it's a little awkward in the online environment, but I set up an intro discussion board, discussion board every week. You'll start to get to know people, you'll get to know people in the lectures and the forums and things like that. So I wanted to make sure that you guys really connect because sometimes we feel so disconnected right now, make sure that you still um, connect as much as you can. Now, I'm not expecting you guys to like, you know, create lifelong friends, but it's always nice to have new friends from college, right? So get to know your classmates. Um, number four, participate. Now, I know we're not in a face-to-face -face classroom and I don't expect hands raised, although you can raise your hand in Zoom and I usually have the chat feature up and the attendees up so I can see. But if some reason I don't see your question or I don't see that you want to jump in, just verbally jump in and say, I have something to add or can I say something or I have a question and then it'll highlight your square and I know who's talking. So that's really great. So at least once per class. Now, again, even if you're in the Zoom meetings, I don't expect you, you don't have to have your video up. You don't have to have a picture up. Uh, you can just have your name. That's fine but I do expect participation. So when I break you out into groups and I see that you don't click into your group, that's kind of how I know one way that you're not participating. Number two, if I end the class and your name is still kind of lingering, I also know that you maybe clicked on and walked away. It's not the end of the world, but again, if you're gonna do something, do it right, good. Number five, take notes. Now every week, I expect an outline to be entered from the chapter. Now again, I don't mean my type of outline, I mean the out, type of outline that works for you. Notes kind of supports an outline, right? And so in the support module, I did put, uh, I think, five different options of outlines, whether you're gonna do a, a distinct Roman numeral, very traditional outline, or you're a mind mapping person, or you are um, you like to handwrite it because you're kinesthetic, and you like different colors and puffy paints and, you know, glitter pens, that's cool, right? You can take a picture of it or you to upload an image or you can 
upload a document. So there's more information in that supportive module too. So every week, get prepared to turn in uh, an outline. Learn Canvas. This is super, super important. Now, some people, <coughs> excuse me, um, are, well, I have a smartphone. Well, that's great. <laughs> um, every phone's different, and every student management system's a little bit different, and every professor uses it a little bit differently. Um, but there is a 24-7 helpline that comes with your student fees, so please use that. I've called them at like 2 in the morning, trust me. And there's somebody there um, and then there's also SEC student peer tech help I put that in the prep module as well so your resources are going to be there so when somebody asks me how do I do that I'm gonna say have you accessed the 24 7 helpline did you ask the peer community did you ask somebody else in in the class I'm very willing to help you but sometimes it looks a little bit different for students and I don't really have the exact answer so again I want to I want to push you to empower yourself to find answers to your uh, your possible answers or possible solutions to your issues. And I'll definitely help if, if you're finding a, a dead end. I'm definitely here to help. But Canvas is the deal. If you're new, new, new to it, there's free videos. If you're kind of new to it, just push yourself to brush up a little bit more and get more um, comfortable, more quick, more uh, expand your knowledge in there. But if you've been taking online classes for a couple of years and you got this down, Maybe you need to consider yourself a leader and help other people. Yeah, I did put an open discussion board so people could ask questions and other people can answer those questions as well. Good. So number seven, read your book. If you're gonna spend money on the book, read the book. I know it's not a cheap book to get, it's even used, it's still pretty pricey, but we go through every single chapter, no joke. I remember that in college when professors would say, go get this book, and then you'd read like two and a half chapters out of it because that's all they assigned in here. That's just a waste. I don't waste your time and I don't waste your money, right? Me neither, right? So that's what real life is all about. So let's, let's practice now. <clears throat> Number eight, study. This is the typical um, ratio of study time. So if our class meets um, once or twice a week, at an hour and a half, that's, usually, that's a three unit class. Sometimes classes meet once a week at three units. Um, but that means that for every hour in, you should be studying two hours out. So if we meet for roughly three hours a week, you should be studying, that's right, six hours. Now, if you were able to do that, you would ace this class with your eyes closed almost, right? This class is not hard. You've been through it all. It's child development, zero to 18. Most of you are 18 or older. I have a couple who are under, but it's close, right? Um, but again, if you actually met like on a Monday or Tuesday and for an hour and a half when we did our lecture piece or our forum piece and then you went and did two hours or three hours so 90 minutes to you know to three hours um, of study time that particular day wow you would be tip top head of the game nailing it absolutely good so keep that in mind number this last one did I put did I do number 10 number eight Oh, well, I took out the number nine. So number nine, oh, there it is. It's under my camera, sorry. Um, number nine, make this all about you. And that's weird because I know sometimes as teenagers um, in high school, it's like, it's not all about you. Well, guess what? College is a little bit different. And I did put a little um, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison in the prep module about, hey, you know, college and high school are a little bit different. The way that you know that you are learning is if you can take the, the knowledge that you're learning and then actually apply it to you. Or maybe those in your bubble, right? And so let's say we're learning about second graders. Well, let's talk about what it was like when you were a second grader. That will take the knowledge from the book and be able to apply it to yourself. It's called formative knowledge and I, I'm big on it. Again, nobody needs to have this stuff memorized because we've already been through it. It's just a little bit different now that you're learning the terms. But at the same time, if it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't quite sink in. So do make this all about you. Plenty of times do I ask for your opinion or how this concept showed up in your life. There's no reason in this class to go out, some, go and find somebody else's opinion on the internet and place it in, in your answer part, right? This is about you, make it about you. Absolutely, number nine. Next, number 10, keep going even, even if you get off track. I course design every single one of my classes to drop the lowest low stakes quiz, um, reflection, outline, and discussion board. So at the end of the semester, you get a few extra points, maybe for some reason, like 
you had something happening in your family and school was just not going to happen for this week, that's okay, right? <clears throat> but what happens is that people will skip something or forget something or miss something or maybe score poorly on something and they go, oh, I have to drop. No, not at all. Not in this class. Plus, I give so many opportunities for extra credit. Let's say on the essay portion of the exam, when there's a 10-point essay, big deal, and 10 points is out of 50 is no big deal. But at the same time, if you do a really great job, I don't have to give you 10. I can give you 11 or 12 or 30 or 40, right? Show me what you got, right? Answer the question, all the instructions, show me what you got. It's, it's a way that you can get extra points because some people just get so wound up about points. Even if you get off track, there's a way to catch up. There really is in this class. I know in other classes that might not be true, but in this class it is. So I'm again, I have polished and honed and focused and funneled all of my classes and all of my teaching techniques to make sure that it's equitable, fair, and also able to be successful. I don't make it easy, but it's certainly not hard. There's a lot of work and it keeps going every week. It's 16 chapters, 16 weeks. That's a lot of work, but you can do it. So keep going even if you get off track. And if you do get off track, just let me know. I, I've had students who were in the hospital twice in one semester. I've had students with leukemia. I've had students with all kinds of family issues. I have had students with all kinds of personal issues. Again, you can still do well in this class even if you get a little bit off track. Don't let it derail you completely. So again, a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm really, really excited to, again, work with you guys. And now you have all your 10 tips and tricks on how to be successful. I will see you in a bit.